To get great results for your e-commerce brand with Google Shopping Ads, you need to be actively ranking higher without spending more money or just bidding higher. And in this video, I want to cover exactly what you can start doing right now to rank higher with your Google Shopping Ad campaigns without really sacrificing profitability or paying a single dime more. Before we get into the actual strategy, however, I want to go over exactly what happens when you rank higher with Google Shopping ads and to illustrate this i want to go over a few of these performance max campaigns which we basically strategize to act as shopping campaigns to show you the overall results now some of these in the last 30 days they've been running at a 10x row as almost a 9x row as right here a 9.58x row as right here the beautiful thing that starts to happen when you naturally rank higher with google shopping ads is first and foremost your click-through rates go through the roof and anything above a one percent with google shopping is considered to be above average now although not all of these campaigns have above a one percent click-through rate because we are ranking very high with this brand google is actually rewarding this brand with some of the highest quality traffic and the conversion rates also start to increase when this happens which is also why the conversion rates here is a four percent a five percent a three percent but naturally these two metrics are some of the first which gradually began to increase and when this happens your return on ad spend also starts to go through the roof so to understand how to rank higher we need to understand what actually even determines where you rank with google shopping and to illustrate this what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a quick search for a product on google it's my legendary example of 3d printer and we're going to go over some of these products coming in the front now the first things that we see on the google ad side of things are these product images the product titles the pricing as well as any Anything else that the brands do such as reviews or any types of sales they have going on these things make up what is known as the product feed and the product feed is one of the most important things which determines where you rank with Google Shopping because the images the titles the prices even the merchant center feed health itself are the things which directly determine where your products rank the second thing which is the most important is the campaign side of things because bids budgets and the campaign of approach is also super important the third most important thing is the back end meaning the landing page experience how it's laid out whether the conversion rate is high on your website or not these three things combined determine where you rank with google shopping at so you need to start by attacking all of these individually to then start gradually ranking higher without spending a single dime more on ads and the best way to do that is by starting to focus on the product feed now a properly optimized product feed is the one with the right kind of images which stand out from competitors and the right kinds of prizes and search and optimized titles which make people want to click on it so starting with the image again just using something that's different from competitors basically doing the opposite of what your competitors are doing is the best approach here but that brings us to the product titles which you need to ensure are search engine optimized and they should be ideal not only for the algorithm them but also for the user reading because if it's not in proper grammar nobody is really going to click on it even if it's the best search and optimized title in the world this brings us to the final thing which is the overall merchant center any types of issues in the merchant center and basically getting approved for any merchant center program like reviews promo codes etc these things are just necessary to ensure you close any gaps within your google merchant center and your google product feed to ensure there's no leakage of any sort but that brings us now to the campaign side of things the first thing you must do with your shopping campaign side of things is have competitive bids now if you don't want to be guessing random bids then obviously you don't want to be running manual cpc or maximize clicks standard shopping campaigns instead you should be using google's algorithm to your advantage and running more on the smart bidding side of things such as target ROAS or target CPA or just entirely relying on performance max campaigns because this is really the most ideal way to ensure your bids are as competitive as possible in addition to that you should be budgeting properly within each individual shopping campaign spending about 25 to 50 percent of whatever the total number of products is within that given campaign this is a general range which usually works and this gives enough budget to every single product within that campaign third most important thing is to segregate your products out properly because if you let's say have twenty thousand products inside a campaign then 25 to 50 
50% of that is going to be a huge number, which you don't necessarily want to do. So instead, what you should do is you should practice proper segregation techniques, which are needed to further scale your brand and then rank higher with Google Shopping ads. Once you have all of these things in place, that's going to bring you now to the landing page side of things. And this is where majority of the e-commerce brands fail. Your main goal with your landing page should be to improve the conversion rates. And some of the best ways we have seen which improve conversion rates is by simply using standalone landing pages for some of your best selling products. But let's say you don't want to take that extra step and you would just rely on your current Shopify theme or WooCommerce theme or whatever you might be using. Well, in that situation, you you might still need to kind of start changing up things on the product page itself maybe start with the colors start with the overall texture and overall layout of the product page authority banner so on and so forth and just one by one switch things out as you gauge the conversion rates and understand what the real rates are gonna be this is what's gonna determine once you combine all these three things together whether your ranking improves or not if none of these changes work then that simply means that you did something wrong and that's where you want to go back and basically either go back to how it was originally or just make a brand new change because this is exactly the strategy we use across all of our brands under my google ads agency you're marketing to rank them higher and eventually scale them to a million dollars or more per month in revenue but if you're doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue and you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen but go ahead and like this video and subscribe if this is one of the first times you're watching Watching one of my videos and check out this case study right here on how we blew up another e-commerce brand using these kinds of tactics.